This is Sean McCormick for Radio Hanna. In this video, we're going to look at how to set up Audacity, our free audio editing software, to use an external USB input. One of the problems we've been having over the past year is that when students record audio on a laptop, they just go and start recording without taking a look at any of the settings. And when they're done recording, because they haven't bothered to play back any of the audio and see how it sounds, they've recorded an entire radio play and suddenly they're horrified at how bad it sounds because the audio is hollow, it is echoey, there is a lot of background noise, especially if they're working in the classroom with other groups who are talking, recording things, dropping stuff on the floor, scraping chairs around. You hear everything and it is nasty. And this could have all been prevented by just doing one thing, going to your input here in Audacity and checking to see what you're using for your input. Right now, by default, we've gone to our microphone array, which is the really, really nasty built-in microphone on my laptop. So we're just going to go down and choose USB audio codec, which is our USB input device. Now, it's a little mixer with a couple of microphones attached that are very directional, and they take out all the noise and make things sound so much better. But we'll go back to the internal mic first and show you how that sounds. Record a sample. Testing. One, two, three, four, five. Now that is very, very low audio. Testing. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, first that sounds bad. And if we just normalize that, to bring the audio levels up, we'll go to minus one decibel to avoid clipping. Let's play that again. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Doesn't that sound nasty? We're going to go back and pick the right input this time and record one more time using our external USB interface and a good microphone. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Let's play that. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Now, isn't that much nicer sounding audio? And all we have to do is just, we'll normalize this too, uh, to the same level, and we'll listen for background noise. Effect, normalize to minus one decibel. Okay, and we'll play from the beginning and compare the two. Testing one, two, three, four, Five. Testing. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. That is the incredible difference in quality with audio you get just by choosing the right microphone input in Audacity, which is a problem we've been having for the past year. So we thought we'd make a video and let people know, please choose the right input before you start recording and save everyone a lot of grief and wind up producing a much better product. This is Sean McCormick for Radio Hanna. Thank you for watching. We hope this was helpful.